matches, and we just had a cool little barbecue, so I'm ready to see what's next on the next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting along all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even building up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee! Eve's made fast friends with this score bunny, too! Oh, that's awesome! Uh, listen up, new trainers. I believe, believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion! What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you! If you think he might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival! But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion! Just having the Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know! Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too! Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Well, that's really intimidating, but he's my friend and I and my, my score bunny is also my friend, so we're gonna go for it. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Man, yeah, it's pretty intense. Oh, so these are battle spots. Okay. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike? Then let's do this! I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. We'll see about that, Hop. He's ready to go, though. I'm challenged by Pokemon trainer Hop. Alright, let's get going. He sent out Wooloo! Wooloo! Oh, it's so cute! But matches has this! Pokemon battle it is then! I've got two partners with me! Oh, I've only got one. Oh, he's so cute! Okay, so fight and tackle or growl. Well, I'm gonna go with tackle. And let's see what happens. Matches use tackle! Aw, oh, yeah, look, we got him pretty good! And Wooloo also used Tackle. Oh, man. Well, I think we got some more damage on the Wooloo. Oh, because I'm level 5 and the Wooloo's on level 3. Okay, good. So we use another Tackle. Now just use Tackle. Oh, look, he got him. All right. And Wooloo also used a Tackle. Wooloo falls up into a little ball. It's so cute. Okay. But we're going to have to Tackle it one more time. Okay, matches use Tackle. And yeah, we got Oh, it's a very cute Pokemon, but I had to do my best. X points. Oh, oh, we leveled up, guys! Wow! So matches grew up to level six. That's awesome! I guess we're pretty good Pokemon trainers. Matches learned Ember. Ooh, okay. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Pops it out. Grookey! Oh, it's very cute. Okay fight, and I guess we're gonna use Ember. Ooh, it's a different color because it must be a fire move. All right, let's do that. Matches used Ember! Whoa! Oh, that did a lot of damage! Did you already know about type advantages? I guess I, I, I kind of know. <laughs> the opposed group is a burn, and he's gonna scratch me. Oh, he hurt me a little bit, but not that much. Oh, because he was burned, he also got hurt! Okay, so maybe one more Ember, maybe two, we'll see. Now he's used Ember! Yeah! Oh, we're so close, guys! He's in the red! Okay, and then Grookey used Growl. Okay, matches. Oh, it's close! We got one more! Let's see, we can either do a Tackle, a Growl, or an Ember. Let's do a Tackle this time. Matches use tackle. And yeah, we did it! We took out that Grookey! That's awesome! And we got more experience points! And a whole nother level! Matches is at level 7 now. I guess we, will, we must be really good at these Pokemon battles. Two levels in one? Aw, oh, poor Hop. 
You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that score bunny are too much. That's right, we are. We're the best. You got 400 for winning. Oh, so I guess there's money in this game, too. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon, too. It won't be too bad. Uh, you and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good enough out there, Score. Good effort out there, Score Bunny. Why didn't I get you all sorted? Why don't I get you all sorted? And Eep, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon Gyms. You join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Eep. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of a, po of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes then, we're on it! Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Eep! That's the kind of enthusiasm. Yeah, enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a single Pokedex will be nothing. Man, Hop's really excited. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You're probably... You probably better go tell your mom that you're heading out, though. I guess I should. Whoa, where'd they go? Well, I guess I'll go say bye to mom. Oh, there he is! Crash. Eep! Did you hear that just now? Wow. Oh, we're back in front of my house! That gate's open, and the Wooloo that was there... Where's the Wooloo? <gasps> the gate's open! And the Wooloo's gone! It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there? Oh, it definitely did. I definitely think that Wooloo made a break for it. Well, it's off limits! Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. <gasps> oh, that's not good. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Eep, what do you say? Uh, yeah, we've got to save it. Right, even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to. Do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Eep. All right, Hop, wait. Man, this guy just jumps ahead of the game, but... Oh. You keep showing up! Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go this way. Slumbering Wheel. I hope I'm saying that now. Let's see. It's so pretty, though. It's so blue. Oh. That Lulu, where do you think it got off to? I don't know, but I guess we're gonna find out. The fog is really coming in thick now. If we don't find, find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble! Oh, he just keeps running ahead! Why can't he just wait for me? Oh, what was that? Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! It's a squavet! Go, matches, go! Oh, it's like a little squirrel! It's so cute! Okay, so I've played Pokemon before, and usually you can catch them. But I don't think I have any Pokeballs. So I guess we're just gonna have to fight this this little squirrel friend. So I guess let's start with an ember. Matt just used ember! Oof! Oh, that was really powerful! It caught him down by half! Alright, he tackled me, but it didn't really hurt. So let's use another one of these embers. Oh, it's so cute though! Oh, there it goes! Alright. Oh, he fainted. Don't worry, little friend. I'll come back and catch you, I promise. Pokemon gain more experience points? Will we get to eight? No, I guess not. But Squirt Bunny did a great job! Good job, matches! Let's keep going here. Oh, hey Hop! Okay, then we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going here. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh! Ah, ah. Alright! 
Whoa! A wild rookie It's like a little birdie! Oh, he looks kind of mad, though. He's really cute. Oh, and all the Pokemon I've seen so far are just so cute! Okay, we're gonna try a tackle this time. Matches use tackle! Whoa, that was great! Rookity used the leer! Oh, alright, I wonder what that did. Oh, Matches defense went down! Well, I don't think that's gonna get in the way of me doing another tackle! Matches use tackle! Yeah, a critical hit! That means it did extra damage! Sorry, friend, but we're finding our friend Wooloo! We got some expert points. Okay. Let's keep going. Good job, Matches! Alright, let's keep heading through. Where is... What was that? Did you hear that? That Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? It definitely was. You have great ears, too, Hop. Oh, okay, so I guess we're gonna keep going. Hello? Oh no! Man, I keep running into all these Pokemon! Oh, look at him! He's so cute! Oh man. I really want to start catching all these Pokemon, but I don't have any Pokemons yet, so... We're gonna use Ember here. See what that does. Then we're gonna do a tackle. Oh, didn't get him down to halfway that point, but... Oh! He did a little tail whip! His tail's so poofy, too! Oh, it's just a girl one! Okay, okay, so let's do a fight. We're gonna tackle. You got this, Matches! Alright, aw, oh, yeah! Oh, we're getting close! Oh, we did it again! Alright, let's see. Let's see, I think we got this. We're gonna do a fight and another tackle! We're gonna get you! We're gonna get you! Yeah, we got him! Alright, we're getting so many experience points, guys! Matches is just getting stronger and stronger! I'm surprised we haven't seen that Wooloo yet, though. Okay, we're gonna keep going, and now we're gonna go this way! Oh! There was that noise again! Come on, Eve, that Wooloo might be in real trouble! Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of scared, Hop. Wait! You never wait for me! That's kind of rude, but I guess we are trying to save a friend. Wow. It is, it is really misty here. I can barely see in front of me. Hello? Oh, there he is. There's Hop. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. Yeah, it is really misty. Uh, I think I get now why this place is off limits. Yeah, it's real foggy. What's that? What's going on? Oh, wow. It's really hard to see. Whoa! What is that? What is that? What the? My my thoughts exactly, Hop! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What is that? Oh, okay, matches. We're, we're fighting this? I don't know what it is! I don't even know what level it is! It's got some cool brains, though. I guess we're gonna do an ember? Okay! What? What? It has no effect! It went right through that thing! What? That move had no effect on it! Uh, maybe I can tackle it? Let's try that! Ah! Uh, again! It has no effect! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, what is he doing? I can barely see! Uh, Eep, I can't see anything! You okay? No! I have no idea what's going on! Maybe we can growl at it. Let's try that! I just use growl. What? The move had no effect! Those are the only moves I know! Whoa! Whoa! I can't see! I can barely see anything! Matches, no! Matches, where are you? I can't see anything either! Ah! Who said that? Is it me? Was it Hop? Was it that weird Pokemon? What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Trees? Oh, okay, we got some trees. And, and, oh, I'm, I'm asleep on the ground. What happened? That was wild. Hop, Hop, what's going on? Uh, Leon, Eep. Uh, Leon, Hop, Eep. So Leon's here now? What? Oh, what? Lee, how do you manage to find your way here? 
Yeah, your 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 pants with directions. You almost get you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course, I came to look for the both of you. Wait, wait, where's the Wulu? We're trying to rescue that Wulu. Ah, oh, Leon took care of it. Meh. The little chap's just fine. Though all you had fainted by the, all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. Well, at least that Wooloo's all right. Yeah, he, yeah. I mean, that's we're all about the Wooloo's here. Uh, I thought he, we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked? But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? Uh, it seems loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, I'm, they did it and I couldn't do anything with matches. They, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it, huh? So, the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering weald. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You you'll all be alright now that I'm here with you. Alright. Even if we didn't get an earful from Lee, what an experience! This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend! All right, Hop, but I guess it's my legend, too. Uh, don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. All right, I'll go say bye to my mom, but you guys better wait up for me. All right, back to the house. Let's see. Mom! Mom, are you home? Sorry, Munchlax, you're not my mom. Mom! Oh, there you are. Well now, isn't Score Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Yeah, that's right, Ma. Alright, here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. <gasps> An allowance! Thanks, Mom! Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Score Bunny will battle to the very end for you. Aww, oh, because he's my friend! So don't you go pushing that poor deer too hard. Oh, I won't. Ah! Oh, he's so cute! And you, Score Bunny, look after my little Eep! Oh, my mom really loves me! Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, East or West, home is best. Oh, that's a really cute saying! Thanks, Mom! Alright, that was super cool, so I guess what we're gonna do is head to Wedge Hurst in the next episode! Uh, see you then, guys! Bye! Everybody, I'm Eat the Mouse, and today we're playing Pokemon Sword! This game just came out, and I'm super excited to play. I've played a couple Pokemon games in the past, but this is the first one I'm I'm playing on the Switch along with so many other people. So I guess we're gonna start by picking what I want to look like. Well, none of these are mice, so I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, what is my name? Well, I'm Eat the Mouse. So we'll go with that. Eep. Great. Perfect. Let's press OK. I hope I pressed the right buttons. Oh, what's this? It's like YouTube! Oh, this looks so cool! Oh, who's that guy? I like his hair. Welcome one and all! Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon! Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Ooh, that must be the map in the back. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Oh, there it goes. It's a cute little elephant. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. Wow, he's pretty extravagant. 
and those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete. All right. We call Pokemon trainers. Guys, that's us. That's me. Oh, everyone's so excited. I'm pretty excited. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. We turn our gaze to the Gala region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. Ooh, whoa. Oh, look, look at this person. Neat shoes. Look at that hair, it's so big. And, oh, that's Charizard in the back, wow. This guy's pretty cool! Everyone seems to be really into it. Ooh, I wonder who that is. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end. You know I don't lose battles, Rayhan? We'll go with that. Charizard Dynamax! D what? what? What is that? What? That's awesome! What? I've never seen a Charizard look like that before! Wow! <laughs> Pokemon Sword! This looks so cool, guys! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, it's a little sheepy friend! Oh, I have a friend who's a sheepy too! Oh, I wonder who that is. Oh, that's such a cute house. Oh, so cute! I think that one's a Munchlax. And oh, hey, look, guys, it's me! Am I on my phone? That's cool. Oh, am I watching that? Oh, I'm watching YouTube, probably. Oh, hello, hello. Ah. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, that's your fla flash new phone. Eep. Okay. Where you watch? Oh, where are you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. Oh, okay. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. That's what everyone was doing in the video. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's my mom. Hi, mom. Hop, I didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Eve. We should change Hop's voice so he doesn't sound like me. Uh, never mind. Watching the match now. Uh, I've got it recorded at home anyways. I record all my brother's matches. Brother? Oh, that guy must be this this guy's brother. Okay, okay. Come with me, Eep. We should be... He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings present, presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Oh, okay. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. So I guess we're going to Hop's house to meet his brother. All right. Well, uh... Oh, I can walk around now. Oh, cool. So I guess this is my house. What a nice TV. And oh, look at the little Munchlax. Always oh, taking a nap. Oh, <laughs> sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, he's so cute, though. All right, let's see. Well, I guess we should head out. Oh, hi, Mom. How's it going? I guess we'll say hi. That would be rude not to say hi to Mom. Rushing off in that state, eat. Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I last saw it in your room. And don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Oh, yeah. Hop did say I should grab my bag. Oh, this must be it. Wow, look how cool my room is, though. That's an Eevee. And look at this cute little Pikachu. That's pretty cool. But, okay, we got things to do. Let's grab the bag. You grab your dad's old bag. Thanks, Dad. Oh, yeah, I'm getting all ready to go. Oh, man, and look at my cute hat. Yeah, I gotta keep my hair nice and straight, but I think this means- Oh! Adventure guide. Okay, x men Save your progress. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So let's see. All right. Well, I think I'm ready to go out now. Let's head out the front door. Whoa. I'm waiting for you. Gotta head outside. Oh! Well, I'm outside. Oh, look at all those pretty plants and the vines and- Oh, my house and- Oh, there he is! Hey, buddy! Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll come right down. Wow. A bee doo Oh, very cute. ba doo, -doo. <laughs> All right. Hey, Hop. Ha -ha. Ha have a look at you. Eat that old bag. Looks like it could pull you over. Well, you know, I guess I am a little small. 
At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's so cute. A woo. But what's it doing here? Oh, I guess it's what the sheep are called. They're woos. Oh, oh, he can't get through it. Okay. Well, oh, oh no. Oh, hey, silly. Uh, you silly woo! I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on that fence. Oh, okay. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. <laughs> Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. Wow. Okay. I don't think the Wulu understands. Uh, now that that's taken care of, how about it, Eep? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. Whoa, what with you lugging about that big old bag? Uh, well, well, hey, okay, I'm I'm gonna chase after you. We're gonna do it. Okay, let's go. I gotta I gotta get there as fast as I can. Okay. Oh, look at all these sheep every. No, I can't get distracted. Sorry, Mister. Sorry. Uh, is this the right way? Let's see. Well, I guess we'll check. It's a pretty big house. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, this must be. I see Leon over there. And there's Hop! Great! Uh, Mom, is he here? Uh, there you are at last, Hop! Oh, and you've brought along Eep! Hello, dear! Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? H have you got him crammed in a cupboard? <laughs> I like Hop. He's pretty funny. Uh, he's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. You've probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Oh, then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with the directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. Oh, uh, you've got to come with me. You've still never met my big bro, right? No, I, I haven't. I saw him on YouTube, though. Uh, you can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. Wow, this hop's pretty excited. I'll wait for you out on the route! Okay, Hop, bye! I guess, okay, so I saw Hop here. Let's go, let's go and meet up with him. Let's see. Alright, nothing that way. He's got a really neat looking house, though. And and I guess this is like a battlefield? Or maybe it's like a soccer field? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, there he is, though! Hey, Hop! I made it! Oh, let's get a move on! Only remember, Eep! Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. Oh, I better be careful. If you've got my- I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Eep, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Alright. Let's keep it up. So, okay, we're at Route 1, and okay, he's right here. And he, I know he said, oh, oh, okay, no wandering into the tall grass if you've got no Pokemon of your own. Well, thanks for having my back, buddy. Can I say hello? Let's go meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead from here. All right, well, I guess I'm going to head there. Oh, there's a bunch of people around. I wonder if they're all waiting for this Leon guy, too. Interesting. Wedgehurst. Oh, we made it. Oh, there he is. Let's see. Whoa. Man, his outfit is so cool! Whoa! Oh, and he's got an awesome pose, too! Oh, look how excited everyone is! That's pretty neat. Alright. Uh, uh, hello, hello, Wedgehurst! Your champion, Leon, is back! I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch! It's our unbeatable champion, Leon! You and Charizard are the greatest! Well, thank you for that. I hope you're all carrying on training up your Pokemon and never shy from a battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title! We're on it! We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee! That's pretty cool. This guy seems really nice. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on! Wow. So true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge, to fill the gym challenge, and come battle me! 
gym challenge, okay. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world! Roar! Oh, I guess his Charizard is into it too. Wee! Oh, it's hot. Hop! <laughs> so my number one fan in all the world has come out of his come out of his way to pick me up! I guess so. Look at you, Hop! I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's right! The sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, eh, Lee? And those bright eyes over there. I've got it! You must be Eep, am I right? <gasps> he recognized me! Uh, I heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the Unbeatable Leon! Wow, this guy's so neat. Come on, Leon and you, Eep. Bet I can beat the both of you back home. Oh, yeah? That hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bet you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Wow, this guy's got a lot of stickers on the back of his coat. Oh wait, guys, no wait for me! Oh, okay, I'm heading out. Wow, that guy seems pretty neat. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're back at his house, too. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Eep and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everybody! I wonder what, what Pokemon are going to be there. Oh, okay. Take a good look, you two. Whoa! <gasps> a grass-type Pokemon, Kooky! A fire-type Pokemon, Scarbunny! And the water-type Pokemon, Sobble! Wow, I've not seen these before! Oh, look at these climbing! And that one's swimming! And Oh, he's got little flames coming out of his feet! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, and a little squirt! And what's this guy doing? Oh, he's got like a little stick! Oh no! Oh, hey! That's not very nice! Oh, careful! Oh no! Oh! Oh no, that poor Sobble! Oh! Oh, but I guess they're all friends! That's good! Alright, everyone, line up! All right. Oh, they're so cute! Which will you choose? What? what? Oh, I have to pick only one? Oh, man! That's gonna be kind of hard. Huh. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. Okay. So let's see, there's the Grookey. Oh, he's smiling! And the Score Bunny? And this teeny little Sobble? Oh, he looks kind of sad. Oh, but the bunny looks cute. We're gonna say hi to the... We're gonna say hi to the bunny first. Oh, so sweet. Score bunny is a fire type that's filled to bursting with fiery passion. You're set on fire type score bunny? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Can I talk to the others? It's natural to want to consider your options. Though going with your instinct is fine as well. You choosing your dear partner however you like. Okay, okay, cool. So let's see, let's check out this monkey here. Oh, he's got such cute teeth. It's grass type Pokemon, grass type Pokemon, Grookey, eh? It's soothing like a nice long walk in the way. Grass type Pokemon, no, I, I don't know. I gotta check out the last one. So, okay, yeah, yeah. Great, um, we're gonna check out this little guy too. Hey, buddy, let's say hello. Oh, it's a little lizard. He's got such funny looking hands. It adapts to anything as surely as water floats. Water floats? That's interesting. Going, um, let's see. I'm not sure. Hmm, I'm thinking I do like the color blue. And the monkey's really cute, but I, I really like the ears on the rabbit. It kind of reminds me of my own ears, so I think we're going to go with him. Hey, buddy. Score, but okay, yep. And yeah, this is who I want. I want the score bunny. Oh, he's so happy! 
Oh, I would love to give him a nickname. Hmm. So he's a fast bunny and he's on fire. Oh, I think I'm going to call him Matches. Because cause matches make fire. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And matches. Boop. There we go. Perfect. And done. Matches has been added to your party. Woo! It's a party now! Oh, he gave me a fist bump! That's so cool! <laughs> Alright. So it'll be Score Bunny for you. Nice one. Uh, then I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. Oh, I like the Grookey. I probably would have picked him too if I could have. I'm aiming for the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Wow, hack means business. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, it looks like uh, oh, his Grookey's friends with his Wooloo already. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and E. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. To try to reach me. Oh, Sobble. Oh, Sobble, no! And you'll come with me. Oh, okay, good. I was worried. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but really strong and really kind, too. Okay. Whew. I was going to say, what's going to happen to the Sobble? All right. Enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. All right. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Oh! <gasps> All right, we're gonna have something to eat. That's awesome. Oh, look, they're cooking something at the barbecue. And look, Hop's so excited and Charizard's hanging out. Oh, this is so sweet. Whoa, are those kebabs? They look so good. Man, that was awesome. Come back next time and we'll, we'll give it a shot and see what happens next with our new Score Bunny matches. Bye. Hey, everybody. I'm Eat the Mouse from the Mother Goose Club. Today, I'm hanging out on top of the mountain by my log cabin. And I've just finished building most of Wolfie's house. Come on, let's check it out. So, I was building the rest of his house earlier. And you know, it looks really good for a dog house. It's really big. But you know what? I was thinking about it. And I think I could make it even bigger and even nicer. Isn't that right, Wolfie? I bet you'd like that. So, I decided that, you know what? I'm gonna make it even better. And I'm gonna make it even bigger. So I got a bunch of supplies together to make this house awesome. And I realized I wanna take this back wall and uh, send it out even farther so it makes the house even longer. But to do that, I'm gonna have to get rid of all those bricks and all that wood. And you know what? I could dig it all out with a pickaxe or I could use some TNT and just blow the whole thing up back there. That'll make so much room for me to build a whole nother part of the house. Yeah, Wolfie, okay. Stay out here. Stay away from the house while I get the TNT set up and get ready to explode it. <laughs> so let's see, let's grab some TNT. We've got some flint and steel here. So Wolfie, I'm gonna tie you up. No, 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 don't go in there. I have to go in there and put some TNT down, okay? So I'm gonna take you over this way and put you inside the house, okay? I don't want you to get hurt, all right? So stay right here, okay? I'll be back, I promise. I just wanna make sure that Wolfie doesn't get hurt. TNT can be really dangerous if you're not careful. So, Wolfie, no, how'd you get back out here? Okay, okay, how about this? We're gonna put it down here and here. And Wolfie, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to follow me and stay all the way over here, okay? I'm gonna sit you down inside the house where you'll be nice and safe, okay? And you can't follow me, all right? You can't follow me, okay, Wolfie? I understand that you wanna see the explosion, but I don't want you to get hurt, okay? So stay right here, all right? I'll be right back, okay? Oh, he's a good boy, so I think I'll stay there this time. So let's get out the flint and steel, and let's uh, light up this TNT and get away as fast as we can so we don't get hurt, okay? So we'll, there we go. Okay, I lit the TNT, let's go, let's get out of here. Oh boy, okay, oh, whoa! Did you see that, guys? Oh man, I did it! Oh sweet, the whole back of the house has been blown up. Oh man, there's so much more room here now. You know, I think I need to put down 
one more TNT to get the back of the wall here. So we'll put it right here. There we go. And we'll just light that real quick and take a step back and that should get rid of everything else. Oh yeah, look at it. Oh, that, oh, awesome, that was perfect. That was just the perfect amount I needed. Oh, this leaves plenty of room for me to build more for Wolfie. Okay, I'm gonna bring him back outside so he can see how things look. <laughs> I'm coming, Wolfie, don't worry. Okay, hi, Wolfie. Oh, you're being a good boy. Yeah, you can come outside now, come on. I'll leave the doors open so you can come out when you're ready. You gonna come, Wolfie? Okay, so I'm gonna start building the rest of your house up. So let's see. Let's first fill in all of these holes here. So we'll put, oh, looks like I'm out of dirt. Let's go and grab some more in my chest. There we go, that should be plenty. And you know, let's grab some more wool, just in case. Yeah, see Wolfie, look. I know it's kind of sad that some of your doghouse is gone, but I promise there's gonna be more there soon. It's gonna be even cooler. Okay, I I, I got some, uh, uh, some carpet. Yeah, some carpet. And we're gonna put that down on your floor and it's gonna be super cool, okay? So let's see, let's grab some more bricks and build this out a little bit more. So let's see, we'll add some there, and we'll put some more uh, some more dirt down. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. You know, I love explosions, they're so much fun. They can be really dangerous sometimes, like when creepers explode, that's pretty bad. But you know, otherwise, explosions can be a lot of fun. It's fun to kind of destroy things sometimes and see what happens, you know? So. Okay, I accidentally put that brick down. It's really hard to pick up without a pickaxe. So I'm, uh, I'll get a pickaxe later. But for now, I'll just uh, start building the rest of this up. So let's see. Oh, oh, looks like I'm out. Okay. Man, I should have been prepared. I should have grabbed everything out of the chest. Well, that's all right. You guys don't mind. It's all for fun here. I love crafting. I know, I know I've said that before, but it's so much fun. Oh, yeah. And, uh... All my friends like to build too, build all sorts of things. Jack likes to build, Mary likes to build. Mary can fix cars, did you know that? She's so cool. I'm not very good at fixing cars, but I can build dog houses really well. <laughs> but yeah, it's been so much fun hanging out with Wolfie. He's a really good dog. Oh, where'd, where'd you go Wolfie, Wolfie? Oh man. Uh, Sometimes though, even though he's a lot of fun to play with, he's got really stinky breath, really gross dog breath. Have you guys ever smelt dog breath? It can be really nasty sometimes. Ugh, just pee, you, ugh. It was really stinky, so stinky, and I have no idea what makes doggy breath smell so bad. I wonder if it's vegetables. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Some vegetables can be really gross sometimes. Like, I really don't like asparagus. Do you guys like asparagus? I'm not really a fan. I think it's really stinky and it it, it makes me feel kind of sick. I really just, I don't like, I don't like asparagus. That's, that's all I have to say about that. But there are some other vegetables I really do like like broccoli, I really like broccoli. Uh, it looks just like little trees, and I think that's really cool. Oh, well, let's see, I'm gonna grab a pickaxe and start getting rid of some of these these uh, these brick blocks I've put out accidentally, like that one, there we go. And we'll take this one down, perfect, okay. So I just have a few more to add. We'll put those here. And let's see, oh, I can't really reach up there. Oh, that's a good idea, Wolfie. I'll, uh, I'll climb up. You gotta scooch over, Wolfie. I gotta, I gotta build a place to climb on top of, okay? And there we go, awesome, perfect. So we'll put some more bricks down. But yeah, I like vegetables, but there are just some that I think are really, really gross. I wonder if Wolfie likes asparagus. That's probably why his breath stinks so much right now. Ugh, so gross. But yeah, okay, cool. So the walls are all built up. So let's get rid of the wool I used to climb on top of. Oh yeah, it's looking great, Wolfie. And let's put down the flooring. We'll put some here. And oh, looks like I ran out. Let's grab some more. And then we can put the roof in. 
I have a really good idea. What if instead of just making the roof out of wool, we add a skylight, we add some, some glass window panes in so Wolfie can see the stars when he's sleeping inside at night. That'll be so fun. Wouldn't that be cool looking, Wolfie? Oh yeah, we're totally doing that. Uh, I just, I love getting to build things and I like that uh, I can make Wolfie's house even better than it was before. Oh, Wolfie, you're gonna have to get out of there. I gotta build right there, okay? Oh, come on, scooch over, Wolfie. Okay, there we go, that's a good boy. Okay, cool, awesome. So let's build some of the roof back and then I'll build, oopsies, then I'll build the rest of it with some window pane. That should work fine. Oh, and I forgot to get rid of these here. There we go, one, two. Oh, oops, looks like I messed up there. We'll, uh, we'll grab some here, put it right there, and then put some flooring down. Boom, awesome, perfect, okay. And then I should be able to build some more of the roof. So we'll put some here. Oh man, I love the stars, they're so cool. And uh, the fact that they make constellations is pretty cool too. Do you guys know what constellations are? They're, when, uh, they're groups of stars that uh, are all together. And what they do is they uh, sometimes form pictures about with stories about uh, all sorts of cool things like other creatures and people. It's really fun to hear about. Teddy tells me about stories from constellations all the time. It's super fun. Okay, so let's see. I need the glass pane for the roof now, which I totally forgot to grab. So we'll grab it here. There we go, some glass panes. We'll stick that over there. Oh yeah, this is looking so much better already. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna put one here. Oh, oops, we'll just, uh, we'll leave that for now. We'll put it right there, and right there, and there, and oh, whoa, it's making such a cool pattern. I don't know if this is gonna keep all the, uh, um, the snow and the rain out, but it sure looks cool. And you know what? When you're building things sometimes, there's uh, some happy accidents that can happen. And they look really neat sometimes too. I'll have to fix it later, but for now, this looks really cool. Oh, and it lets some air in too, that's awesome. Oh, let's, let's get rid of this one, oopsies. We'll break these, smash, smash, there we go. Oh, you like that, Wolfie? Yeah, we can even have some of the daylight coming in. And we'll put up a couple torches. And yeah, this is looking awesome. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of the carpet. And then, you know, I think this is everything that I wanted to uh, to add to Wolfie's house. So it's looking pretty cool. Oh man. Well, oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, the, the carpet isn't touching the ground. Oh, I get it. Because we put uh, some wooden slabs down, it's a, uh, there's some space between one block and the next. So it looks like the, uh, the carpet is hovering above the ground. Oh man, that's so weird. I kind of like it though. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep it. Oh, oh, I have a really good idea. Let's grab some more slabs and it can be like a little play area. Oh yeah, with some steps. Okay, okay. This is gonna look so cool, guys. Check it out. Okay, Wolfie, what are you doing? Oh, he's such a silly wolf. So we'll put some more down here. Wolfie, get out of there. Oh. Come on, Wolfie. Oh, what a silly dog. Well, he should be okay. Let's see. We'll grab some of these and we won't need the TNT anymore because I don't uh, plan to explode this house anymore today. Maybe a different day, but not right now. Wolfie, there you go. That's a good boy. So let's see. Oh yeah, so it's like a step up. That's awesome. Oh yeah, it's perfect. And we'll put some on top of these planks here. See, problem solved. Sometimes mistakes lead to really cool things happening. Oh yeah, this is awesome, I love it. Okay, so I like how that looks and I think Wolfie does too. Wolfie, where'd you go? Wolfie, come back. Huh, oh there he is. Oh see, look, he went him all by himself. Oh, isn't this cool, Wolfie? Isn't it a cool place? Oh man. And don't worry, I'll patch up the holes in this skylight in a little bit, don't worry. I didn't know that the glass panes would do such cool looking things, but uh, they're not gonna keep out the rain and that's what's important. So I'll take care of that some other day, Wolfie. Uh, you should uh, 
Check it out a little bit though. Oh, it just looks so cool. Oh, it's awesome. I love building things, guys. Thank you so much for building more of Wolfie's house, house with me. Come back next time. We might build even more things for Wolfie. Bye from the Mother Goose Club. Bye. Hey, everybody. I'm Eat the Mouse from the Mother Goose Club. Today, I'm exploring this cool swamp. Check it out. It's got uh, all these cool uh, waters and this waterfall and some lily pads. And check out all the the uh, plants around. Everything's a lot greener than where I've seen it before. Like, look, those trees are dark green and they have vines growing off them. It's really, really hot out here, but I'm having so much fun exploring. I've seen so many cool things like, look, sheep and there's a big uh, a cavern up there and all these vines and oh, what, what's that behind the tree there? It looks like oh, it's a house. There's like a house on top of this lake. It's just floating out there and it's got a bridge leading to it. That's so cool. Well, let's go and check to see if anybody's home. Oh man, I wish I lived at in a house in such a cool spot. Wow, look, that cavern you can see right through to the other side. That's awesome. Well, let's see what's inside. Hello? Hello? Is anybody home? Hello? Huh, I guess this place might be abandoned. An abandoned swamp house. That's cool. Oh, look at all these pretty flowers. Oh, that's so neat. Check it out. They've got some cool frames and a chest. Whoa! Look how much cool stuff is in this chest. A bunch of enchanting books. Oh, I'm going to take a few. If no one lives here, I might as well uh, salvage some of the stuff. Oh, and a clock and a compass. Oh, I'm definitely going to grab a diamond sword. And look at all these potions. Oh, let's take a bunch. Let's see. Let's grab this one. This one looks pretty cool. And let's take that one and this one. And let's grab this one here. And uh, well, let's grab some more books. Yeah, they, uh, that's good. That's good. That should be plenty. Oh, man. Oh, I wonder if there's anything in this chest. Oh, no, nothing there. Oh, cool. Some crafting blocks. Well, let's see what's upstairs. Man, this place is super cool. I don't know why anyone wouldn't want to live here. Let's see. Oh, oh man, there's some more potions here. Let's grab a couple. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Oops. Uh, let's check the bedroom over here. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, another chest. Whoa, check it out. There's some armor in here, like some horse armor. Oh, Peter will love that. And huh, I've never seen emerald armor before. Let's let's grab that and check it out. Oh, that's so cool. And what kind of a black iron sword? That's awesome. Well, well let's. Oh, oh, oh whoa! Huh, oh, ow, ow! Oh, why would you do that? Oh, I didn't know anyone was here. Why would anyone be in this abandoned building? Oh. Hey, hey y'all, I'm sorry. Hi, hi. Oh, ow, ow. They keep throwing potions at me. I better get out of here. Oh, that's pretty scary. Oh, man. Oh, 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 they aren't following. Phew. Man, why would there be anyone in that abandoned building, let alone attacking me? That's pretty mean. Ow. Oh, that really hurt. Well, I seem to be safe here. They aren't following me. So let's check it. Let's check out all the cool stuff I got. Maybe we can see what some of those potions do. Oh yeah, look at all the cool stuff I got here. A bunch of books and hey, I I look a little different here. I look. Well, what what's going on? Oh my goodness, I'm I'm black and white. My, my colors are gone. I'm gray and oh I'm not blue anymore. What what do I do? How did this happen? Oh, it's probably from the potion that that witch threw at me. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh no, this is terrible. Well, hmm, man, maybe maybe my colors aren't really gone. Maybe maybe that wasn't a potion. Maybe it was just a uh, some some paint. Yeah, some gray or black and white paint. Maybe that's what it is. Well, uh, maybe I can just wash it off. Yeah, yeah. I'll go swimming in the swamp and see if that uh, gets rid of some of this. Yeah, gray paint. I bet it's gray paint. Uh, I'm sure that's what it is. So let's see. I'm swimming. Uh, let's let's go under the waterfall and see if uh, that can wash away some of my paint. Uh, let's see. Right in here. And blah, 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 blah. Oh boy. Okay. Let's uh. 
Let's check and see if I, I got rid of all this gray. Ugh, I don't like the color gray. Not at all. Oh, no, no, that didn't get rid of the gray at all. I guess it's not pain. It must, it must really be some sort of spell or a curse or, or effects from a potion. But, but why would that witch do this to me? That's not nice at all. That's really, really mean. Oh, well, well, maybe. Oh, no. What if, what if that house wasn't abandoned at all? What if, what if it was that witch's home? What if that's where she lived? And, and I, uh, I barged right in there without even, uh, uh, waiting. Oh, no, I bet that's what it was. She was probably mad I was taking all of her stuff. Oh, that's not very nice of me at all, but I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident, a complete misunderstanding. Oh, well, I'm gonna go back and talk to that witch and maybe, maybe she'll forgive me. I'll give her back all the things I took. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do, and maybe she can help me get my colors back. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's such a cool house, too. I can't believe I thought it was abandoned. Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Oh, oh, there you are. Miss Witch, Miss Witch, I've come back to apologize. You've come back to apologize? Yes. Yes, uh, Miss Witch, I, I shouldn't have taken all your things without that without asking. I'm sorry. Please, please take them back. Here, here, take some of uh, these books here. I'm really so, so sorry. Here, I'll give you back everything I took. I didn't know this house was yours. I thought it was abandoned. Huh. Well, thank you, Eep. I'm glad you came back and apologized. It was the right thing to do. Here. Take this potion. Uh, it will give you back your colors. Really? Oh, thank you so much, Miss Witch. I I understand that you'd be mad, and uh, uh, but thank you so much for being willing to, to cure my color problem. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna drink this potion right here. Oh wow! Look how great I look. All my colors are back. Potions are so cool. Oh, thanks again, Miss Witch. I really appreciate your kindness. Oh, this will never happen again. Don't worry. Um, I'm gonna put some of your stuff back now in this chest. Oh, and uh, yeah, I I live not too far from here. You, you're welcome to come and visit anytime you want. Maybe we could uh brew some cool potions together, or play, or or a bunch of other stuff. It could be so much fun. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm really sorry this happened, but I'm glad I met you, Miss Witch. I'm really, I'm really glad. Here, uh, let me give you back some of this stuff since uh, it belongs upstairs. And um, uh, I'm really sorry about this again. I really am, but I'm gonna give you all your stuff back here. And uh, this, and this, and that, and uh, this, and then lastly, the horse armor. Oh, thank you so much. And here, um, I don't want to take your glass bottles. You can have that too. You can use it for more of your potions. Well, I had so much fun playing with you guys today and, and meeting my new witch friend. Well, uh, come back for more Minecraft soon. Bye! Hey everybody, I'm Eat the Mouse from the Mother Goose Club. Today, I'm here with the king because the, the castle is being attacked by creepers. We're gonna go and get them, come on. Yeah, see, look at all those creepers out there. Oh, your majesty, we gotta go and take care of them. How did this happen? Oh, I don't know, Eep. I woke up this morning and looked out my window and just saw tons of creepers on the bridge. Yes, we definitely need to get rid of them. Yeah, we, we don't want them destroying the beautiful castle we have here. Come on, let's go fight. Onward. Look out, creepers. Here comes Eep the Knight. Okay, I'm gonna get this one here. Stay back. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, that hurt. Oh, man. Well, let's get these over here. Oh, you're shooting arrows. Good job, your majesty. That's a great idea. Take that. And oh, yeah. And take that. And take, oh, ow. Oh, that one really hurt. Take that. Yeah, I got one. I got one. Okay, take that. Yeah, we took him out. All right, take that. And take that. Ow. Oh, I almost fell off the bridge. That would have been a close call. Take that. Oh, man. And take that. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Oh, man. Oh, well. Okay, I made it across the bridge, but there's still a couple more. Oh, they just exploded. Oh, man. Whoa, no. Oh, the creepers, they set up a trap. Oh, man, they're all gone, but 
there's a huge hole in the bridge. Are you okay, your majesty? I'm fine, Eep. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna fix the bridge. I'll be there in a minute. So there's some supplies across the bridge here in case anything like this would ever happen. So I'm gonna grab them and uh, I'll, build a, I'll build the bridge back. But also, I don't want any creepers happening like this again. So I'm gonna set up some guards here on this side of the, the bridge so they can keep away creepers and any other monsters. Oh, it'll be great. Okay, so I'm gonna fill up this tiny hole first. One, oh, oops, and two, okay, cool. So, okay, time to do these next. Oh, this is gonna, this is such a big hole. It's not, it just half the bridge is practically gone. Okay, so let's see, we'll put some here and here. Oopsies, oh man, I'll take care of that in a minute. Okay, so those here, and we'll just keep making rows and rows of them. Okay, oh man, uh, there we go. And one here and here, there, that's nice. So we'll put some here, and yeah, that's the side of the bridge there. And put one here and here okay okay oh yeah I just love getting to build things it's so much fun and uh, it makes me feel good too to be able to build things up and and even, especially after they've been destroyed you know if something's broken if you can fix it you should always try and fix it that way you don't have to buy a new one like if it's your phone or maybe an appliance like a, a blender if you can figure out how to fix it safely it, it, it's a really good idea to try and fix it okay let's see here don't worry king I'm almost there I've almost made it across to the connection point right here you know let's let's actually just connect some right there there we go okay okay so let's let's build the rest of this out Oh man, it doesn't look like the rest of the bridge, but I think that's okay. I think we're just trying to... I just gotta get to the king and make sure he's alright. Um, okay, so let's see here. We'll put one there, and uh... Oh, it's a little tricky. Okay, let's be careful now. I don't want to fall into the water. There we go. Oh, oopsies. Man, I should have... I should have brought a pickaxe with me. I guess I need to practice building a little bit more. Well, that's okay. Let's see here, we'll put one, oh man, this is gonna be tricky, 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 there we go, there we go, that's perfect, okay, so let's see, we'll go over here, and put one more here, okay, let's be careful, I don't want to fall in, that's a really long way down, it's kind of scary, but, uh, I gotta be brave, that's one important quality of being a knight, is being brave, and I am definitely brave, because I'm a real knight now, eat the knight, <laughs> Man, it's so fun being a knight. I love getting to uh, talk to the king and uh, battle enemies. It's so much fun. And it makes me feel really special, too. It's too cool. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, it's a little close on that side. Let's go over here. And yeah, that'll be a little bit easier. So we'll put one right there and one right here. Oh, oopsies. And one right here. There we go. Oh, so I'm out of cobblestone. I'll just use this stone here. There we go. And uh, one right here. I'm almost there, your majesty. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'll just move this one real quick so I can walk across. Oh, so how are you doing, your majesty? Is everything okay? Oh, yes, Eve. Everything is fine. I can't believe those creepers destroyed the bridge. It was very scary. Oh, yes, it was, Your Majesty, but I'm glad we took care of it using teamwork. Oh, thank you for grabbing that for me. I'm sorry I'm not uh, the best at building yet, Your Majesty. I have to practice some more, you know? Oh, yes, of course, Eep. Practice makes perfect, as they say. You're right. <laughs> so let's see. We're almost there. Uh, one here. We'll do a couple over here. Well, I've made it across uh, at, at least, so that's nice. Um, Your Majesty, do you mind helping me a little? Can you uh, dig out some of those I left there? And maybe you can use some of this here. Oh, take a few of these too. Thank you, Your Majesty. Oh, of course, Eve. I, uh, even though I'm the king, that doesn't mean I can't help rebuild my castle. That's what makes a, a king a good leader, by being willing to help. Oh, yeah, that's awesome, Your Majesty. Thank you. You're so wise. You're such a good leader of this kingdom. <laughs> so let's see. We'll put these here and one here. And I'm almost done. Okay, and one here and there. And there we go. Okay, let's, let's put some more here to make sure no one hurts themselves by going over the edge. That would be 
even scarier. Falling from a height like that into the water. Oh boy, I don't even want to think about it. So let's see, here and here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah. How's that coming along, your majesty? I'll, I'll, I'll put a railing right here to make sure nobody gets hurt. Okay, one right there and right here. Okay, I'm almost done. All right, well, uh, while you're finishing that up, your majesty, I have a really good idea. I'm going to uh, put up some guard cats over there. Some some guard cats? What, what are guard cats, Eep? Oh, oh, so uh, guard cats are cats that keep watch for creepers. Yeah, um, creepers are really scared of kitty cats, so they make great guards for the castle. Oh, that is a, a really good idea, Eep. Go ahead and do that. I'll finish up here. Okay, so let's head over this way. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew that, but creepers are really scared of kitty cats. So they make great guard cats. <laughs> so I'm going to put out a couple um, kitties for, uh, for us to guard the castle. So let's see, I've got some uh, ocelot eggs, some fish to tame them, and uh, oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna need some leads and some fence posts. So I've got the fence posts, this should be enough. So we'll set up a kitty cat right here, and another one right there. That should be enough. So let's spawn some ocelots and try and tame them, because that's how you make kitties in Minecraft. So okay, one right here. Hi, ocelot. Don't be scared, I have a fish. It's all right. See, yeah, you like that. Come here. I'm gonna give you a nice tasty fish and then we'll be friends. There you go. <gasps> See, look at that. We're best friends now. Oh, look how cute he is. He's orange with stripes. That's awesome. Okay, kitty cat, we're gonna go this way now. See, look, your majesty. I was able to find a guard cat really quickly. Look how cute he is. Oh, you like him. Oh, he's so cute, Eep. I love kitty cats. Oh, that's awesome! Me too, your majesty! So I'm gonna, uh, try and, uh, tame another one. Here we go! Oh, don't be scared! Don't run away, Ocelot! It's alright! You want this? Yeah! It's a good tasty fish! Here you go! Yeah! Oh, it's so tasty! Here, have a couple more! Oh, you're really hungry, aren't you? There we go! Oh, that's perfect! Come on now! Oh, your majesty, we got another kitty cat friend! Come on, come here! Let's head out! Oh, whoopsie doopsie! There we go. Okay, back this way. So I got another orange kitty cat. We're gonna put him right here. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, he's so happy. Oh, isn't he cute? Oh, he's such a cute kitty cat, Eve. This was such a great idea. And this will keep creepers away, and also visitors will get super excited to see we have cats at the castle. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, thanks, your majesty. This is so awesome. I had so much fun today fighting creepers with you guys. It was super cool. Well, see you later. Bye.